Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Calico M100. This is a 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle made by a company called Calico. These came out in the late 80s from what I recall and they have a hundred round magazine. Magazines are a bitch to load. Sorry for my French there. Um, but it's a hundred round magazine. The reason I ended up with this Calico is I bought an XP100 that came with this Aimpoint 2000 scope on it. And I did not want the uh, XP with the scope. I just wanted it to have open sights. So I was like, what in the world am I going to do with the scope? And the more I started thinking about it, the more I thought about getting a Calico. And I wanted one of the old school versions. This is... Um, First year production. It's got your safety right here and your bolt handle here. The magazine fits in these notches, which to change it out, you just pinch those together. And to open the buttstock, you pull it out, you push forward on this pin, and then the buttstock folds out. And it's actually uh, fairly comfortable with that. To insert the magazine, You take the magazine, slide it in. Normally this would not have the scope mount on. You just shoot it with open sights. And that's how you install your magazine. Of course I have this with the YouTube friendly 29 round uh, capacity today. But uh, let's see how she shoots. These are the first rounds that I'm putting through this. I actually ended up having to somewhat rebuild this the magazine was uh, all messed up inside. The plastic would get gouged. I had to get parts for that. Calico is still in business. I also had to get a new buffer because it was worn out. And um, a new magazine spring because there's a coil spring in there. You have to actually rotate this knob here to put tension on your magazine. There's a coil spring inside. And the magazine is helical. I'll have a picture of what that looks like at the end of the video during the uh, close-up inspection of the rifle. All right, here we go. The first rounds fired through this and who knows how long. Let's uh, hold our fingers, cross our fingers. All right, it picked up the round. Gonna move the safety to fire. This red dot scope is uh, pretty bright for being old school. out where this dot's hitting. Yep, first jam. So the rounds feed from the top. It's kind of an upside down stove pipe. All right, back in business. Oh, we fired, yay. Oh, and it cycled. Let's see if we can figure out where this dot's hitting. If this rifle looks familiar to you, it's probably because it was in the movie Spaceballs. So we got some sci-fi theme going on here. Nope. Nope, had a jam. Not bad. This thing is uh, pretty fun. Let's see how it does on the plate rack. there. 
Well, unfortunately, it looks like my work on this is not over. I might have to do some work on the uh, trigger mechanism, maybe. Um, the bolt is totally locked back, will not go forward. I've tried moving the, safe, the selector from safe to fire, and it's almost as if the trigger will not pull back. So I'm going to have to dig into this, take it apart, and figure out what the problem is. But, uh, man, it was fun uh, while it lasted. I'll get to the bottom of it. Um, Calico, like I said, offers all the parts for these. And Calico actually still is in business making this rifle. And they also have a pistol version. Um, it actually comes with a more uh, modern stock. I went with this old one because I wanted the retro look the retro stock with this uh, old aim point sight and uh, some I did want to show y'all this aim point uh, let me get these batteries out I've never seen batteries like this if anybody knows what year these aim point uh, 2000s are from I'd love to know I don't think it's from the year 2000 but uh, this is an LR50 battery never seen one like it uses two of those kind of interesting anyway i hope y'all liked the video and appreciate you watching check out some of the other videos and i'll see you all the next time